Leonard Gopro says, I just can't see us winning in the playoffs. So I hope I'm wrong. I, I, you know, I, I disagree. I don't, I mean, I don't think any team right now is, I, mean, I, it, I guess it depends on the matchup, but you know, this, they're there. This is not the first time we've been in the middle of the season. We're like, man, I don't know if this team can, uh, I, I don't know if this team is, is ready for the playoff. And right. You know, well, that, I mean, that, that, that 2016 team that won it all did not yeah, look did. like a playoff team. They lost yeah, if you, if you if you looked at uh, the 2016 team uh, during the season, there was no way you thought they were doing what they ended up doing in the playoffs. Uh, and I would also add that mm. look at look at all you know you if you want to say the top ten teams or the top five teams, whatever you want to say. What what of all of those teams? Every single one of those teams at some point in time this season have looked beatable. Yep. Whether they lost or they didn't lose um, doesn't really matter. They all have looked beatable, just like Clemson has looked beatable uh, this season. So I don't think they're, you know, maybe I would agree a little bit more if, you know, there was uh, two to three teams at the top that just were just, you know, laying waste to every single, you know, team they played and it wasn't even close, right? Maybe then. But every team – you know, in the top five have looked beatable at some point in time this season. And we've only played seven games. We got, you know, we got several games uh, to keep getting better um, as a team and keep growing. And I think Clemson has shown, if you look at them from game one until right after this FSU loss, game seven, right? Um, we've consistently gotten better um, as a whole each week, I think. Um so I think we're trending in the right direction. I would agree with you. We're not ready for the playoffs right now, but uh, I think come playoff time, we'll be ready. Right. Uh, WV2 says we miss T-Law. Well, it, of course, every, everyone would miss T-Law. It's, Any team in the country would drop their quarterback right now for T-Law. Right. Um we can't can't be living in the T laws. Trevor Lawrence yeah. is probably is is one of the. He's a Jaguar players. now. Yeah, wow. he's the <laughs> argue, arguably the best quarterback in school history. So you you know it's yeah. you know measuring you know you we're know, not getting another future teams to that standard is just not it's not realistic. Um, ben comes in says it's actually hard to believe how bad our game management and player management is. It's utterly inexcusable. I mean, I, I I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I, 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 some of it was game, some of it was was game management, and and some of it was just really you know re really poor execution. Um, but yeah, there there's still some there's still some really head scratching, you know, decisions sometimes. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, I get it. I I think that's just frustration. Yeah, um, I get the frustration, I, and I get it watching what. Watching the game, uh, just our offense, um, you know, just not moving the ball at all. And, you know, you can say our defense, you know, gave up, you know, a ton of yards and stuff in the fourth quarter and stuff like that. But the offense didn't help them. The offense didn't help them at all. They couldn't move the ball worth anything. I mean, I remember, was that that drive when we, um, right uh, I think we got a goal line stop maybe. Yeah. yeah. They and then we the threw like we threw like three straight like fade passes to the sideline and and they weren't even close to being caught and we went three and out and I was just like what are we doing? Yeah. And, like, and what, it took what was it took that? no time off the clock like, and then and gave Florida yeah, State a decent field. It was field just position. like three straight passes. They were all incomplete. They weren't even close. Like it wasn't even like they were contested and you yeah. know they were broken up. The balls landed, you know, five and ten yards out of bounds, and I'm just like you know, that was one of the series where I was just like, that is some bizarre play calling. Like, why would we do that? Yeah. Like, we don't have Mike Williams out there uh, running down the sideline or Jordan Leggett or, you know, I, I mean, I don't, just like we don't have those dudes that like just consistently go up and get balls. So I don't know where they got that idea from. Yeah, and then the player management portion of it, you know, it's not always dictated by the game plan, you know. Yeah. There's, you know, there's injuries, maybe even some that we don't know about because the guy quietly goes to the sideline without the camera noticing or whatever. Um, but, 
Yeah. Sometimes I sit, I sit scratching my head when I see who's playing on the defensive line currently. Or yeah. Who's in the <laughs> Sometimes they're – yeah. Bentley, Bentley played way too much today. I don't know if maybe – Who's that? Or, Levante Bentley, yeah. Yeah. And he he got – yeah, he, he looked a little, you know, out of – he got out of place at times. Um you know, and but, I like I like Bentley, but you know he's not a he's not a burn, he, he's he's not the athlete that that Trotter and Carter and, and Simpson are. He's a no, he's a bumper. He, he plays well, downhill. He's he's closer to the the, the you know the, the James Skalski you know Ben Bolwer mold than he is the yeah uh, Isaiah Simmons you know Trenton Simpson um, you know type role, but yeah, it's, but it's not going to get better without the experience. So I mean, I'm I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, and he's got to be now, part of the rotation. He's he's now's not the time, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, well, and he just needs to, you know, he just needs to, you know, play better. I, I mean, I don't think it's a, all just, you know, you just got to take him out because he's an hey, he's an uh, important part of the rotation in, in that linebacker group. A little bit off of subject of what we're talking about right now, but towards the end of the game, um, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but XT, it looked like he tweaked something. Did not notice. I did not notice that. You didn't notice. So it was towards the end, and um, I hope uh, it was like in the middle of the field, and he like was involved in the play, and he kind of fell down, and he like I don't know. He played the next play because they went really fast, if I remember correctly, but after that he immediately went to the sideline, um, and I, I think I thought I saw some trainers talking to him. And it looked like he was kind of, you know, a little grimace on his face, maybe. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was just reading into it. Uh, but I thought I saw him tweak some. I hope that's not the case. Um, um, that, would, that would be unfortunate. You know, he's still, you know, he's still kind of sore. So, I, you know, from yeah, hopefully, it's, and he can hopefully only push. He can't push off on that one foot. So, you know, that's why they have him playing on one side. Um, yeah. So I, maybe but, that, that but, just flared up. I don't. I don't think it's something serious. Yeah, he was playing on both sides tonight, though. Yeah, uh, wasn't. So. Yeah, he spelled miles a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe just you know, flared up a little bit. You know, some pain flared up a little bit. But um, yeah, probably pushing off that foot on the other yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. I I assume probably just from the uh, the added workload this week, uh, just ramping him up. But. DJ, 17 passing touchdowns, only two INT. Very elite, right? Yep, he continues to not turn the ball over, did, did a good job taking care of the ball. No no plays where he, you know, you were like, oh, that should have been intercepted. Um, so that was good. Um, really on, good. On the other hand, the defense had a couple of plays. I mean, we didn't really talk about the defense had a couple of plays where that, that you know, they could have been a turnover, you know, that KJ nearly had, nearly, probably should have had a pick. He dropped back into coverage. Yeah. Really good. Um, baited uh, Jordan Travis on that uh, that quick throw. Wiggins got his hand on a couple balls. Yeah, they could have been. Yeah. But so just know. seeing that that's something they can work on to. You know, is just is finishing on those plays because those those would have been huge. Because you know you, you did get that one turn. You did get the one turnover, forcing the uh, fumble on the sack. Yeah, that was a nice pass. that was a nice strip sack by yep. uh, Murphy. Yeah. Uh, under Watson and Lawrence, it was a first round KO against anyone we played in the con well, that's not true. Especially yeah, I, mean, under, so, um, I mean at, at, at times under Lawrence Lawrence that was true. Yeah, you know, well at times under both that was true, but it wasn't like they were consistently blowing everybody out all the time. Yeah. I mean, I it's that's easy to, to look at the the twenty eighteen team and you know how they basically ran through everybody. I mean the, the twenty eighteen basically blew everybody out. Yeah. Um, but that was a. Uh, that was an yeah, all-time that, break. Yeah, that was that was a season. Um, yeah, um, had some, you, you know, and even when they, they didn't blow any of somebody, there were times where they had lackluster performances. You know. It yeah, just, I get what he's of, saying though. It did feel, um, it felt easier with those two guys. You know. Yeah. Uh, I get what he's saying. We did, we tend, we did tend to blow people out quite often um under those two guys but you know look that's not the that's not the offense we have so yeah we it's there. not it is not the same offense there. and we don't have Deshaun Watson and we don't have Trevor Lawrence those two quarterbacks are better uh no offense they're better than DJ 
Uh, they're better than any. But that's those not two, saying much. Those two are better than uh, <laughs> than any quarterback we currently have on the roster. Yeah. Uh, so. Even Cade. Yes, even Cade. But he's under Watson's second coming. Yeah, I believe. I believe, it, I I believe it when I see it. I yeah. hope he is, but yeah. I believe it when I see it. Um, I don't. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I I don't like when people do do that. Those kind of comparisons, especially to you know all time great players like Deshaun Watson or Trevor Lawrence. It's just, yeah, just it's unfair. Just... It's unfair for that player coming in because to live up to something like that and and what those two dudes accomplished at Clemson. You don't want to be mentioned with those dudes uh, unless unless you're ready for it. Unless you earned it. Yeah, I, I don't want to be the kid coming out of high school being like, oh, this is the next Deshaun Watson. No, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I don't want that. Right. <laughs> let me let me win a natty first. Yeah, let me let me do something first. And then we can, you know, maybe talk about our games being similar uh, in the way that we, in the style that we play, you know. John says, I agree with Dabo and his presser. Our defense played great in the second half outside of the last series when we just lost our mind. I mean, yeah, for the – yeah, pretty much just – yeah, you know, the last – those last couple yeah, – that was strange. But they did a good job, but in the second half, they did a good job. You know, Florida State moved the ball, but they did a good job stopping them on, on fourth downs for, the, you know, for the most part. Um, so. Yeah, we definitely bowed up in the uh, in the red zone. Yeah. Really well. Nico says, "I don't want to be that guy, but DJ can go back to his old ways." And one of the well, don't be that guy. Then don't speak that into existence. <laughs> don't do that. Hey, hey, hey! Get get that off the screen. Delete. Yeah. delete. Knock on knock on nope. wood. Whatever nope. you got to do. Don't put that bad juju in the universe. Don't you dare. Yeah. No. I, I'm DJ happy with the DJ dead. we have right now. The old DJ retired in in yep. 2021. It is now 2022. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that downfield passing is considered a win speaks volumes to our coaching incompetence. I, I, I don't uh, coaching incompetence. I, I, I don't. Under, I don't understand yeah. what what he's trying to say there. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, it, it's not just that they were they're attempting downfield passes. It was you know good, well designed stuff. You know, guys. Yeah, like that yeah. one they uh that one they got to um Allen. Yep. Uh squeaking out of the backfield, right? Where he kind of delayed, looked like he was in as as a part of the protection scheme and then slipped out of the backfield, streaking up the sideline for a touchdown. I mean, that's that's a great design. You got to give yeah. you got to oh, give coaches credit for stuff like that. That's, you know, the big play to Antonio Williams. I mean, those were Yeah, that's that's a good know, scheme. Yeah. Good good pass protection. Uh, that's not I mean that's a that's a win for anybody. It's not yeah, you just be more consistent. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think yeah, we we would all like it to be more consistent, some, but there yeah, be some um, some run the clock out passing plays because I'm yeah. just like. Yeah. 